All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here, and today we're gonna be talking about one of the like bizarre things they have dropped. So, in terms of our build project part, so every one of our build project part currently is able to go up to a separate set of parts. And uh, for those that have not obtained any of the build project part, you guys are probably looking like, um, how am I able to access them? Um, so they made something where you have to buy. So, I know you know the purchasing part is definitely not the best, not even at all not remotely the best thing they could have done but you know in terms of how the pack is looking like um from from the views of how i heard from everyone i think they are actually liking the pack despite the fact that you are gonna have to spend some real money obviously but uh i think most of them are actually saying that yeah i think it's actually pretty good the value is not that bad like they wouldn't mind dropping some money into buying this pack so uh, i'm not even like suggesting you guys to buy it this is just purely based on what i have heard from people so this is definitely not the majority for example right um but let me do actually go over the packs and then we'll just talk about what i have listed up here so i basically have listed out everything so everything that is highlighted in green so those are currently our build project parts up here so the older ones i'm not including the build because i've kind of gone over there already so every one of these have highlighted in green those are going to be our build project previous ones over here getting some seven star parts over here so i'm going to quickly go to every one of them and then i'm just going to hop from there i'm not going to talk take too much time in terms of talk about um each individual one of them um so yeah don't want to make this video like extremely long because we do have 14 in individual part or suits getting seven stars so there's definitely going to be like a lot of parts you kind of go over again but definitely not doing that this time around so uh, let me talk about the packs real quick so i think the top one the 40 dollar pack is definitely going to be the best one of the set because what you're getting is actually pretty valued um not only are you getting one free multi summon when you get the pack so you're getting um what is it 10 six star all traded parts so you're looking at some pretty valued parts because consider how hard they were to get them initially like you it would cost you at least sixteen thousand five hundred to get to secure one part so uh 10 parts to multiply that by 10 you're roughly going to spend um 165 000 at least so you're getting three more as well so you're getting definitely to the map uh it's going to be roughly about maybe even closing into twenty thousand, so or twenty thousand. so that's definitely at the price of forty dollars i think that is definitely about it right uh this is why the fact that some of them may be power crap some of them may not be good again but you know in terms of the actual value there it's kind of it's kind of there in a way uh but i'm not even talking about some depreciation that you can see in, in a lot of those parts um you know you can also get one three uh three pick tickets so you can uh pick your own build project part as well so i'll go over which one are probably but the fan favorite and which one is probably like the best one to kind of get in a bit so you also get some hardship so that's always going to be good and then you're also going to be getting some trade upgrade pincer skill upgrade knives as well as trade upgrade cpu so those are definitely going to be something you can use along the way to further upgrade your parts you know uh maybe maxing them up to part trade level 10 ex skill level 10 however you want to do that that is going to be good so you know so that's why um even me personally i feel like the pack is good but i'm not going to be buying it because i already do have most of the build project parts already so what i'm actually missing if i want to get something presumably i'll definitely be getting this one because i'm going to be getting some seven star parts material upgrading so probably something i would get if i really wanted to but i'm definitely going to wait for the weekly welfare to drop those three so yeah so that's going to be pretty much it in terms of what is going to be the best thing to get out of the set if if like you guys are feeling it you guys are feeling like all right i want to drop a little bit of money i think it's kind of worth it so i'm gonna you can do that so uh, up next let me do kind of quickly scroll down over here and show you guys everything so i'm not gonna pause right now but i'll do i will do a little bit of like talking to see which one is good uh, you guys can definitely see in terms of melee like build burning or the burning in them this thing those are definitely going to be your top prices over here in terms of talk about stats specifically portrait wise this one does have an ex skill so kind of like yeah kind of you know but uh, mobile fighter definitely gonna be a top choice in terms of like like a melee build and this one right now being one of the highest one um you guys can definitely see that it's not gonna get power crap anytime soon if i want to say so myself so yeah uh we do also have some some, some of the other ones so I'm not really gonna talk too much about them um so moving on to your shot department so this is gonna be your shot department for your head um i feel like for shot variant specifically i don't think any of the build project is actually that good anymore just because of the fact that we have tons man like we have tons and tons of tons and good of like shooting parts specifically right now so going for these build project one i just kind of like huh? like are you, are you kidding me so yeah so that's why 
I feel like for shots specifically, I wouldn't go for the build project route just because they're not really packing anything too special anyway. So moving on to the torso for melee, um, burning is still up there. You know, you obviously you got your Ashmo of Origin, you, uh, your Raven, those are definitely some top pickers, but in terms of overall stat, they're like pretty much neck and neck. You know, this one is probably roughly by nine points. And then this one or that one is probably like what? 14 points so you're not even that far off like kind of be honest with you guys like you know but this one having bow fighter is definitely like the golden sheen right you want to get this part right there so you know that is that so here are going to be some other one as well so moving on to your shot you know um shot the variant even the reborns one is holding up pretty well you know a, uh, the, a straight no name that one is still pretty good so definitely real solid right there for sure so all right so in terms of like which one like all right so let's say you already you have you ready to have some seven star parts and you guys are asking like uh ah, should i really upgrade him i think this special right here is definitely going to give you guys a good general idea of like how far they can push themselves you know in comparison to some of our uh, you know some some of the recently released seven star parts so um this is definitely going to be something you guys can be able to take a look at so let's say um, I don't know, you guys may have the straight no name torso and you guys are asking like, eh, is it really worth pushing forward to that? Because like, um, uh, this is a pretty good portrait, but obviously not your 40% not your forty percent trait. So that may be a kind of like a big question you guys might have to ask. But in terms of overall size, we're not even that far off. Like the first one we have is 10,000 and you're roughly about 600 off. So I mean like it's only 600. But uh, yeah, 600 flat raw stat is not as important as like the percentage anyway. So, you know, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't say, yeah, kind of kind of work on another, on another part, for example, right? So that is that. So moving on to your R melee right here. So a swallow right now. So uh, these are definitely not going to be your best candidate, obviously, because they don't have portrait for melee specifically. So you're probably going to be looking at maybe the double x and riser you know this one over here this one is definitely good you know yeah so other than that all the other one are just kind of support this one in time they're not really holding up anymore so moving on to the arm for your shot is okay it's definitely good like look at look at reborn's gonna kind of like okay doing doing real good out there so okay not too bad moving on to leg now so here's gonna be a swallow you guys can definitely see that it has fallen off slightly, you know, but burning them, you know, to this day, it's still going to be really one of the better ones to be looking at, you know, bubble butter, definitely a top choice for sure. Lake for your shot. So, uh, in terms of shot lakes, visibly, we do have a lot, actually, like not even a lot. Like we have so many good variant of like 40% trade. And then we have what? Uh, I think one of the questions that I was asked is, um, should I upgrade my Kubuli? Or is it yeah, Quibbly or uh, the Kasashria to kind of replace? So let me see. Okay, so these are these two right here specifically are probably going to be like the best, you know, uh, shooting base lick currently because they are going to be 40% trait. Um, so the comment was asking me, so I have this one maxed out level 10, for example, portrait level 10. Uh, should I invest into this one? um if you're taking, talking about the raw percentage of these over here these comes in 25 on the spot so they come up to 50 percent and this one at max is your look at since that person does have it have it at max to lower 10. so i mean like this one is probably the better solution anyways because you already do have this invested um upgrading it will probably bring you to this point already because you already did say you have it at red marks already so if you talk about that this one is probably still your safest bet i don't i wouldn't even go out of my way to reinvest into these right here or these one over here uh because it is going to take a little bit of effort so i wouldn't go that extra mile for it for example so yeah uh, moving on to the backpack, um, you guys can definitely see that it's going to be falling off slightly whatsoever, but uh, that th does not really hurt their place that much actually. Whoops, a little battery. Okay, so yeah, moving on to back for your shots. So for shot backpack specifically, uh, I mean like I'd rather go for something that may have a good portrait instead of this one over here. So yeah, melee weapon trees over here. You guys can see that Destiny is actually up here. That's actually pretty impressive. So uh we got your what's the sengoku astray this one is gonna be your soul sound right there so etc and etc so melee weapon for your shot so they're gonna be your uh, rebounds gonna right there um this one's gonna be your soul sound again yeah so they're not even that bad so all right so 
moving on to your range weapon trees over here so range uh for a melee specifically destiny so up there you know uh, f91 is actually going to be the bottom barrel actually so kind of kind of not doing too good right there so range weapon for your shot department and you guys can see that rewind's gonna is actually neck and neck with one of the top cont uh, contender uh the wing zero actually so it's not bad you know uh pretty decent portrait i gotta say you know double 35 percent so 70 in total so obviously not gonna be as good as these one over here you know a double 40 percent trade you know obviously gonna be a, at least 10 percent short but uh still pretty good still going to be pretty good not, uh, regardless so yeah Moving on to the shield, we don't really have that much, but in terms of the shield, um, Destiny shield is uh, definitely not that bad, you know, uh, slightly higher, roughly about 400-ish, so yeah, compared to the Kozora. And then last but not least, we have the shield for your shot department, and then here are going to be the overall stat in terms of where they rank, so uh, that's basically where they are going to place right now, so um, after talking about the stat, let me do actually go over some parts that are actually going to be good in terms of this one over here. So basically how this actually works if I were to pull this myself, um, I will not exchange anything yet. So basically I will go into do that one for multi summon and see what kind of part I got. And then whichever one I, I want is not actually in that multi summon, then I'll go ahead and exchange for it. So in terms of the top contender for alternating or not alternating to pick up, let me see so it's going to be under the special and then it's going to be under the build project exchange tickets right there so i mean to be honest with you guys i think one of top favorite is definitely going to be the zionic sword right there this one specifically because everyone wants themselves a what is it the axle drop right so this is definitely going to be the top choice right off the bat because i think a lot of people see how powerful this unit or this ex good is in terms of arena specifically so that's why this is definitely going to be the top source for sure uh but we're not to sum up the more trolling you know some of the most gimmicky ones it's definitely going to be your high new or just your new um x over here and that is going to be your backpack i'm pretty sure a lot of people have run into this ex already so most people do call this the pyramid because uh, this is actually like a beam barrier so you are actually able to stop any ex skill attacks that are actually beam actually like just any right any throw ex skill beam ex skill anything you can actually stop action drop you can stop rolling buster um so you can stop basically everything so that's why this is definitely going to be something good if you want to be like a um troll if you want to like troll your enemy you want to be able to stop some sort of like attack for example this is definitely something you would want um a pretty unique unique ex skill if i gotta say so myself so in terms of the last slot uh this there's just so many right so i think in terms of another good portrait that i can think of is actually going to be the groundsel gundam so groundsel gundam is going to be a where's it at is it not here uh okay so Gundam Ground, so the backpack is actually really good because the the reason I like this backpack so much is because it comes with a uh, buff EX skill effects as well as a melee power boosting. So that's why I value the buff EX skill by a lot. So that's why I picked this one over other parts, for example. So those are personally going to be my three top picks over there. So you guys can definitely let me know which one you want to be picking. So in terms of some EX skill, you know, talk about some of the cool EX skill. Uh, definitely going to be the F91 head because um, probably one of the kind, a me P rush over here. So definitely something that is actually cool. Not I wouldn't mind getting it for say. Uh, up next, maybe the Frisago chest breaker. You know, the arm is definitely something not too bad, right? Uh, same property as the F91. You can find out you actually do have a little bit of a high piercing than your traditional one being like a D pierce, for example. So not bad right there for sure. Uh, moving down a little bit to maybe the Sengoku Astray. Um, this one specifically, I feel like, you know, the backpack is pretty good. The, was it, the particle, uh, fraud gen over here. This one is actually pretty good. So this one is coming in at, at an S power with a short cooldown. So this one is uh, going to hit like a truck for sure. So, um, not bad, you know, definitely not too bad. Uh, moving down to ground. So, uh, in terms of ground zone, like I said, the backpack and maybe the head for the aestheticness because, uh, in terms of the ground zone, Yes, it is going to be a unique uh, an original suit. So this is uh, more or less like a, um, how do I say? This is more or less like a custom made uh, variant of the, what is it? The TR6, I believe that's what it was. Um, so that one is, this one is definitely very unique in what it's actually designed for. So nah, not bad for this one. Like basically any of the ground support is actually good for aesthetics per se. But in terms of portrait, EX gear, they may not perform the best. 
Um, in terms of double seta, you know, I think originally the double seta beam rifle was actually really good. This one does come with like back then, you know, like back in the good old days. Like these ones are really powerful. Uh, double sh uh, double shooting power boosting is not too bad. But, you know, as the game kind of progresses, you know, obviously style wise, you know, some sort of like other stuff. The condition on this one is actually quite terrible. Uh, that was definitely something I did not uh, mention originally. Like you're double uh, part or double vortex locking, which is never good, you know. Uh, one is good, but if you talk about double locking right there, no, that's not good at all. So, you know, that's why if uh, anyone is using it right now, it's going to be hard if you can't really build around like a high fire power build. So, yeah. This one could be hard. So if you guys do have this one already, I wouldn't say it's not it's not a bad pickup for sure. You just gotta be careful and see, you just have to use these two vortex specifically and you should you should be fine. So that's gonna be it right there. So moving on to a straight, the straight no name, backpack is definitely gonna be the more aesthetic one because you got the deployed the no-name unit right there this is definitely one of the cooler ones to be looking at uh but do keep that in mind this is going to be a backpack plus an in integrated arm so um in terms of custom ability you are going to be very limited and it's going to look a little bit wonky from time to time so uh something to just kind of keep that in mind in terms of the backpack slot uh whatever it's looking like it's going to look really hollow if you are going to be looking at it from the back if um so you know fair warning right there but EX go wise does look pretty cool, so no complaints right there. Uh, moving on to the high noon, not gonna talk about that anymore because the backpack is probably the best candidate. Uh, moving on to the soul say, I don't even think there's any particular EX dudes you kind of get for say. Uh, maybe the arm because the arm does actually have a very, very like you know, uh, I don't know like a pretty savage EX skill. Can I even like? Would they even describe it? it it's kind of like, I don't know, it's menacing. In, in a way, it's kind of menacing with what kind of attack it's actually using. So that's why that is definitely going to be on the list as well. So moving down to Star Winning. Um, Star Winning is actually going to be something that you can completely, completely skip, maybe, because there's not actually a good part to be picking up. Backpack wise, the EX skill does look pretty cool. It does transform into the Mega Core Booster. So. If you guys still like that, that's fine. But other than that, store winning is like, eh, probably not. So moving down to your burning and then uh, for burning, rewards and then destiny, those are basically all remotes of what we already have. So in terms of getting them specifically, you guys got to see which one of the parts you really want. For example, uh, in terms of build, bur uh, build burning, um, in terms of just the burning itself, uh, I personally think every one of those parts is good so you guys just gotta check which one actually fits your build so or or let's be honest like which one you have it as a p attribute already so you guys can get that uh you can access the the other attributes more tech right away so yeah so in terms of reborns gonna over here so reborns i don't know reborns doesn't really have that like wow factor in terms of ex school so i can't really recommend anything on here like uh, I think maybe the biggest benefit is having commander tag on this one over here, so that's why in a way. But um, other than that, I wouldn't really say, oh, pick this part up from the real skin. I'm like, I, I don't know, it's just not <laughs> really that good, to be honest. Um, Destiny is probably the same thing. Maybe the shield, like, you guys definitely saw the stat, so you guys can definitely see just by looking at that, like, which one should I get. But um, other than that, for Destiny, I can't really recommend anything either. Like portrait wise, you know, they're not that spectacular because we got the 40% trade already. So uh kind of tricking this one. So I feel like the last three are definitely like kind of like a big dud in a way because like we had this we have the alternative attribute already and they're pretty much the same thing in a way. So it, it just the difference is is the stat, the portrait. So yeah, so I mean that is pretty much what I would recommend in terms of what we like what I think you guys should be getting. So do let me know which one if you guys are uh, if you guys are buying a pack, do let me know which one of the parts you guys are going to be exchanging for. So with that being said, that is gonna be pretty much it, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.